What if I told you that you can edit like this without a macro? What if I told you that you didn't need a special nope. controller, a scuff nope. controller, an elite nope. controller, an expensive nope. keyboard, an expensive nope. mouse to edit like this? That's right, boys. In today's video, I'll be showing you a game-breaking and game-changing setting on Fortnite that'll make your editing speed faster than Ninja's 90s. <laughs> But before we get into the video, boys, I'm gonna need you guys to like and subscribe with Nodi's on within the next five seconds or absolutely nothing will happen. That's right. Nothing will happen. It just helps me out a lot. So please do it and thanks. But anyways, boys, let's get right into the video and let me show you this trick. All right, boys, we're basically in creative right now. And before I get started, I just want to let you guys know that you do not need any special controller, any special keyboard or mouse. You just need a standard controller or standard keyboard. It does not matter what you have. Also, you're gonna need to have the ability to press buttons really fast by jitter clicking and vibrating your biceps and your muscles and your fingers to press as fast as you can because that's going to help you a lot. Now when it comes to this setting, you're not going to be really able to build, you're not going to be really able to play and move around. It's really just for editing one tile or maybe two, depends on what you do, it depends on how creative you get with it. But this is just for like a really quick trick to make things invisible and to edit really fast. It's two binds, but let me show you how this works. Right, so I'm gonna be showing you how to do keyboard and controller, but let's just hop into our settings and let's start off with controller. First thing you're gonna wanna do, this applies to both. You're gonna wanna have edit on release on. So turn that baby on and have it on. Next, you're gonna wanna hop over to your controller settings and you're gonna pick two buttons. Now these two buttons, you wanna make sure that you can press them very fast back and forth. Whatever's easier and most comfortable for you, do that. In my case, I'm gonna be doing A and B because those are really easy for me. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna make your first bind minus A. You're gonna wanna make that edit. Second thing you wanna do is make your second button select. Now that you've done that, all you gotta do is you gotta get the rhythm down. So you're gonna press A and you're gonna press B. You're gonna press A and you're gonna press B. You're gonna press A and you're gonna press B. And you're gonna go slowly and faster. And now, it looks like I'm even using a macro or I'm cheating because of how quick my edits are. And yep, just like that invisible first try as you can see, and that's pretty much it, and that's how it works. So again, all you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna press your button, your first button, and then your next button. Your first button, your next button, you're gonna do it as fast as you can to the point where like it's almost like you're pressing them at the same time, but you're not. So for some people, it might be easier to do two fingers, so your pointer in your middle, and you're gonna go boom, bang, boom, bang, boom, bang. And for some people, they might wanna do a swipe. So you just kind of swipe back and forth, and that's even pretty quick if you do it right. And then in my case, I like to do both pointer fingers on both my hands because it's a lot easier. And I just jitter click as fast as I can back and forth. When you're jitter clicking, if it's two fingers or both, it doesn't matter. What you're going to want to make sure is that your second finger or for your second button that your finger is elevated a little bit more. So you press your first and then your second and you don't mess up because the second you start pressing both of them at the same time, it kind of falls off the rails. And as you can see, that's what happens and you kind of lose control. But yeah, that's pretty much it. As long as you can press buttons really fast and you can make this work. There's nothing stopping you. And for the people that are gonna say that, oh, it only works on cones, let me show you that that's not the case. And as you can see, it even broke a couple of times, but yeah, I just made a wall invisible. That's f insane, boys, what the f But yeah, now let me show you how to do it on keyboard for the keyboard players out there, since this is for PC and console. Right, so what you're gonna wa basically wanna do is you're gonna hop into your settings, Make sure that you still have edit on release on and you're going to hop over to your buttons. Now you're going to pick two buttons, kind of like with the controller, two buttons that you can press back and forth as fast as you can. So in my case, if you scroll down here, you'll see that I have F and I have G. All right, so this is basically exactly like controller and just so you can see, here it is. And there it is, boys, invisible cone. And <laughs> that's just more proof that this thing is broken. And boom, there's another invisible wall. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. And I told you that a million times, this thing is just absolutely broken. So whenever you see my montages or videos where I'm doing that on keyboard, it's because keyboard is easier for me. It's just a lot quicker to set it up than controller, but it's the same thing and I can do it on both. Listen, I'm not even a keyboard player and I can edit that fast. But on that note, that's pretty much gonna wrap up the tutorial for today. 
Alright boys, so that's pretty much going to wrap up the video. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe when Nerdy's on. And if you are still new or not new, don't forget to drop a like and leave a comment down below of what you think of the secret setting. Also, comment the word secret to so I know you made it this far in the video. But yeah boys, if this video gets 10k likes, I'll do a part 2 and I'll show you another tip. But yeah, on that note, I'll see you guys in the next video and peace.